My name is Arian. My friends call me Irie. This is uh, the Intentional House. Uh, this is an abandoned vacant property that was completely trashed with piles of trash all around it inside and out and we cleaned it all out and did some restoration beautification work, uh, furnished it and now is a traveler's intentional for musicians and artists and writers. Uh, it's a nice quiet place off the grid, no electricity, no running water, but uh, we have you know, candles and kerosene lanterns to help us see and headlamps. And what's interesting, Iris, is this isn't your only property. You've also got a commercial property. Yeah, we have a, a warehouse building right on the other side of Golden Gate that uh, was being foreclosed on. And they, uh, we met the owner of the building at Dr. Bob's Drum Circle, and he offered to rent it to us to turn into a venue, which we're having our first uh, birthday party there tonight uh, with a DJ Liquid Sound Theory and uh, it should be a pretty good time. So with Detroit, you think it is becoming a, a real center for music and for arts? Yeah, for sure. Uh, for creative artists, uh, it's a great way to, uh, for a grassroots movement, for people to uh, start to make a living as independent artists, musicians, um, people who are good at recycling and turning shit into gold. We call it alchemy manifestation circles and workshops for uh, making a living on commission rather than working for you know the typical day job that everybody else seems to be so demanding of. That seems to be the, the, the big thing here. All the young people are actually out of the system. Yes. They're doing their own thing. Exactly. They're, they're, they're making their own money from and working together. Yes. It's like it's a big fuck the system. Yeah it is kind of a uh, counterculture movement of creative uh, expression. People are trying to uh, express themselves through their creative faculties to make a statement about society and, and the larger society that we live in. Detroit happen, just happens to be uh, the perfect opportunity location for that because it's bankrupt and uh, is under an emergency manager. There's a lot of demolition and destruction and violence and crime in the city and it it takes a community to pull together to make stuff work around here so we are definitely um, on a mission I guess you could say <laughs> are you finding that people are moving here from all around America yeah uh, we get travelers from France and we just had three people from France here the other day uh, from all over the world coming here uh, just to stay a few nights, other times we get people from the states that want to become residents or volunteers, people who are helping with the different projects around here. So we get quite a variety of different kinds of people. But yeah, this is our living room. We have a bedroom in here that we have a traveler staying here who is working at Dr. Bob's. And we built this bunk bed and put some doors and windows on here. And this is kind of our one of our rooms for the Traveler's Intentional. And uh, we got about five different bedrooms in this house for uh, the Intentional House, we call it. And our kitchen is right over here. We're, so how do you go in winter? Like you've been here for over a year. Yeah, uh, I'll show you. We have a, a wood stove upstairs that heats the house during the colder months. And um, we're just running on propane and uh, we don't even have electricity, so we kind of have to haul in our own water and stuff. But, you know, it's pretty rudimentary right now, but it's kind of a, a work in progress, I suppose. And uh, this, is sort of, this is going to be an upstairs dining room. Hopefully we'll make this a little bit more hospitable for travelers and stuff, too. Uh, we got... Um, our wood stove is right here that we that we usually heat the house with. Uh, it's an old steel wood barrel, industrial barrel that we put a fire fire uh, door on, and this heats the house in the winter time. <laughs> this is for we just harvest our own wood and we hook up the chimney sometime later in the fall and attach it out here and start uh, putting covers on the window so that we can keep uh, the heat in and the smoke out and it, it works pretty good. There's, before coming to Detroit there was a lot of fear in the 
you know, American community, people, even on the bus here, someone told me, be really careful, there's packs of roaming dogs, you know, <laughs> they'd eat human flesh. You know, I wasn't knowing what to expect. Living here yourself, is it, I mean, it still is, what is I think it's still the murder capital of America. Is, yeah. it, is it a dangerous, do you find it a dangerous place? Um, it can be if you're, I use, uh, would caution people to use their common sense and to try to keep the vibrations positive. And you know, like, uh, I think there are like things like gunshots going off sometimes and people getting uh, arrested. But you know, there is a general feeling that, you know, you're safe here as long as, especially when you have a community, you're surrounded by a community of people who are doing similar, uh, have similar visions for their future. So um, it's not really as, uh, that dangerous around here, but there are parts of Detroit that have been very known for high crime rates and you know Detroit is not the safest city in Michigan by far. So This could be the new center for some art movement or some music movement yes. in America. Yeah, there this is. This is where this stuff happens, where exactly. people can afford to, the time to, to do their art. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing is we're turning uh, what would otherwise be abandoned, neglected properties and turning them into uh, venues, cafes, and workshops for uh, artists and musicians and, and people to utilize uh, to make a living out of. We're trying to create more independence and more freedom and uh, enrich people's spirits through this project and it's working out great. We have great dance parties every full moon. Uh, there's DJs and we have lots of different events and stuff for um, there's an electronic music scene in Detroit that is incredible. So there's a lot of artists in this city that are really amazing and we're hoping to be, join them in their uh, vision. And it's all one, it's one larger universal community. Uh, even an int we could even say it's a, a Detroit movement more than just a, our own local community. It's part of a larger community and we're trying to support them as, and they're supporting us as well.